We hear about serotonin all the time now. Everyone wants more of it due to it being a feel-good hormone. Many people think the majority of serotonin is produced in the brain, but they would be wrong. 90-95% to of the neurotransmitter is produced in your gut. In this video, I will go over what serotonin is, how it works, and some ways you can possibly increase it. Like I said before, most of your serotonin is produced in the gut. Only 5-10% to is produced in the brain. It is released by the gut into the blood and then is absorbed by platelets. Platelets are a key component in blood clotting and store large amounts of serotonin, which then helps the platelets come together to form clots. These clots are very important in helping heal wounds. The neurotransmitter has a multitude of functions. It affects your mood, blood clotting, nausea, digestion, sleep, and even more. Since most of it's in your gut, it would be assumed that it helps with the GI tract, and it does. It has a protective role and more serotonin can be produced to speed up digestion, to get rid of toxins or bothersome foods. Too much serotonin in the gut can be a bad thing. If it gets released too quickly, then it cannot be absorbed fast enough and the brain interprets this signal as nausea. That's why some drugs that reduce nausea target serotonin receptors in your brain. One of these that you may have heard of is Zofran, which works by blocking serotonin from its receptors inside cells, relieving those who take it of nausea or vomiting. Serotonin is also a key component in sleeping since the brain needs serotonin to make melatonin, which is a hormone with a very similar name that lets us know when it's time to go to sleep. Low levels of serotonin are linked to depression or anxiety since it's a key component of mood regulation. Serotonin allows you to feel more emotionally stable and calm. This is why there are many medications in the category of SSRIs or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. These limit reabsorption of serotonin, allowing there to be more available in the brain, which can then increase your mood. With its many positive attributes, you may be wondering how you can get more serotonin. It is made from the essential amino acid tryptophan. An essential amino acid means that it's not produced by our bodies, and there are nine of these. The essential amino acids need to be eaten, which may make you think that eating foods high in tryptophan will increase serotonin. However, even if there is tryptophan in your blood, it has to compete with other amino acids for brain absorption. Eating more tryptophan may increase serotonin slightly, but there is not enough concrete evidence to say that it does. There are mostly two reasons why your serotonin levels might be low. That is if your body is not making enough of it, or if your body does not have enough receptors, or if these receptors are not working as efficiently as they should be. One interesting way to boost serotonin levels is through consistent exercise. A mix of cardio and weightlifting consistently can help increase serotonin levels. There are some interesting hypotheses on why this may be the case. Fatigue during exercises has been linked to higher concentrations of tryptophan in the brain and in turn more serotonin production as well. It's also noted that there are lower branch chain amino acids. Branched-chain amino acids stop tryptophan transport to the brain, and during exercise, these branched-chain amino acids are needed by muscles and allows for more tryptophan to be transported to the brain. Another line of research is leaning toward higher levels of serotonin with higher sunlight exposure. It has been found that serotonin levels are higher in people who died in the summer rather than those who died in the winter. This leads to an interesting idea that due to societal changes, we may be getting less serotonin. With the emergence of office jobs, we have seen a shift toward less manual work and less sunlight exposure, which may be contributing to the lower amounts of serotonin. Serotonin is an interesting hormone that has many positive properties. If you learned anything new about serotonin, please leave a like and thank you for watching the video.